I'm Mark Malcolmson, I'm the principal at City Lit. You come into the cafe at any part of the day, you will see pretty much a cross section of London. People who are working, people who aren't working, people of all ages, ethnic backgrounds um, with um, disadvantages and disabilities. You know, there's, there really is that microcosm of London here, which I think is, is, is truly wonderful as well. There are 4,000 courses across 20 plus big areas and hundreds of smaller areas. Liberal arts education isn't just a preserve of the upper middle classes. Over the years we've met so many different kinds of people and of course you have people from wealthy backgrounds, people from poor backgrounds and all sorts of different backgrounds, different cultures, ethnicities, all that sort of thing, who can afford to, to spend this, perhaps you're right, luxury time engaging in these things without any sure knowledge of an outcome. People are talking more and more and more about money. They never used to in the same way. And also about whether one can make a living from this. So above and beyond. I never had conversations like that when I first started teaching. Can I make money out of these paintings? Woof! You know, no one ever used to talk like that, but everyone does now. City Lit, I believe, is a place for people who don't have much options in their life. I, not necessarily me, but people with disabilities, people who can't afford high education. And this is a place where it's very good quality, with reasonable financial support even, and um, option for people to develop what they wanted to do. People should be educated. Without education, I, I don't think people have much chance without education. It's necessary for people, it's necessary on all stages of your life. When I was younger, um, going through school, I didn't really take much in because of the way they taught. But yeah, I've got a second chance to come here and further my education. My goal in life is to become an addiction counsellor and work with ex-offenders. I came here firstly because it has the, uh, the, the chosen course that I wanted to do, which is social care. So it allowed me to um, be able to come here and study um, the social care diploma. And again, the cost as well. It's, you know, really, really cheap. So I could afford that. It's great being able to interact with others that, you know, want to work in the same field. I look forward to coming into class and meeting others alike and sharing our thoughts and our feelings. I have dyspraxia and dyslexia so for you know anybody out there that has it please go forward in life don't let it prevent you. It's great that I've actually found out what my learning difficulties were and I can address them because that stopped me as a child from learning because I couldn't understand what was going on. I didn't like school very much, so I didn't used to go sometimes. And actually, the thing about adult education is it's such a positive attitude. People are here because they want to be, not because they have to be. I've learned so much more as an adult learner than I did when I was a young person. So there's some things that you can't learn when you're a young person. You need to have some life experience and some knowledge of yourself before you can go on and do stuff. Adult education has benefited me by uh, giving me a new way of thinking about the world uh, and a new way of thinking about my own thoughts uh, coming as I do from a scientific background and never having done any art creative stuff before. You can never have enough new skills you know it's uh, building on skills you've already got as well. It's about the uh, opportunity to learn new things and it never ends. It gives me an opportunity to learn something that I didn't learn when I was younger um, and uh, I'm really enjoying myself and <laughs> meeting new people and, uh, and I think it's, it's a really important thing for, for many adults. Safer for some people who don't have a social life otherwise, gets them out of their houses, and as we've said, you meet people. So I think it's actually essential. And also, if you're talking of adults, younger people than us, it's a way for them to, you know, improve their careers. But I still think that we keep to those basic 
principles that it is access for adults to education so that they're able to continue to study way beyond the idea of you know 16, 18, 21, whenever they left formal education as a, a young adult. We have had a situation for the last five years which actually predates these government cuts of a freeze in government funding we've had to put fees up. That's been the way that we've been able to stay financially viable. We're an outstanding college. We adopt a financial model where we try and do the best to raise as much money as we can do. And I think the government looks at us and says, well, actually, they're doing a lot of things that we want them to do. I doubt if we're subsidised very much at all, given the amount of money we actually pay for the classes. And certainly compared to the 1970s, which was the previous time I went to adult education classes, in, the, in those days they were very, very cheap indeed, and they were clearly subsidised. The ability to continue to grow and learn is, is a fundamental human right, and I think it's something that we should, as a society, think that it's very important, especially with people living longer, people having productive lives, keeping people's brains active, people in, keeping them engaged in society is absolutely critical for a healthy society and healthy communities. You could argue that intellectual stimulation is a necessity. One exercises one's brain, one solves problems, one gains knowledge, uh, one uh, deepens one's cultural experience, you know, that kind of thing. And, and I think another thing that's important is doing it with other people. So, um, we're studying Latin and we could do that in a book at home, but you get more out of it if you're doing it in a class with other people. I think it's hugely valuable for society because if you don't have motivation to keep your brain going, to get out of home, to meet new people, I'm sure that there's a much higher propensity for people to become depressed, get ill and cost get the country a lot, of, a lot of money in other ways. And I really do think that this is a very dignified and, and responsible way of keeping society going. In the light of the economic environment and the government funding environment, that is a challenge because you can't just throw a lot of stuff up in the air and hope that it sticks because you've got economic constraints. But really working out what are the next stages of development, what are the courses we can run, how we can engage our existing students continually and how we can engage new students is something I think is, is part of my, my agenda to take us up to the centenary. It's very important to keep active and keep learning.